on the guys. It is that time. It's time to say goodbye to WWE 12. I gotta admit, even through the hardest and, you know, the the most bullshit times in WWE 12, you know, it's gonna be kind of weird saying goodbye to this game, but you, you have to say bye sometimes. Everything good comes to an end, but this game had its goods and its bads. Um... This review is not going to be the most professional review or the most, you know, oh my god, this was like one of the best videos ever review. By the way, I learned that I say freaking a lot, and I apologize for that. I don't know if it annoys any of you people when I say freaking a lot. I learned it from one of my last videos. Someone commented saying that I say freaking a lot. So, um, I didn't know that. I used to think that my word that I most said was um, because I would always be like um, um, um when I first started. Um... See, there I go, saying the word um. But let's go ahead and start this. WWE 12, it was a big, big step forward since, you know, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Um, you know, the AI actually got a big boost. This whole thing about Predator technology ended up working. I actually had difficulty on Legend difficulty. It was actually a really fun game to play, you know, solo versus... Uh, well, not solo, one versus one, or playing with your friends was actually pretty fun. When you would beat up on your friend, and you know, he would rage about not being able to reverse your moves and shit. So it was a really fun game for that. I mean, it really, really was a fun game overall, to be quite honest with you guys. But, you know, it was, I guess it was fun, but when WWE 13 was out, and you know, it was around the corner, people just wanted to play WWE 13 like me. Uh, you know... I think the most reason, well, the biggest reason people don't, didn't like the game was because of the online features, and I'll go ahead and say that in a while when I get to that section. But, you know, this game had a bunch of titles. Basically had, like, all the titles except the Internet Championship title, I believe. Um, What else did it have? It had, like, a lot of freaking things, to be quite honest with you guys, but... It was those things that we never got that we always wanted back, like GM mode, season mode, um, what else was there? Create a championship, and shit like that. Um, but the most, the, one of the biggest complaints I have about this game was the triple threats. People would get up way too freaking quickly, and steel cage matches were basically impossible to do. I could never do a steel cage match, to be quite honest with you guys, if it was on Legend difficulty, because... When you got one guy down, the other guy gets immediately right back up. This was recorded on easy difficulty, which was really low on me. But, um, that was, that was a big thing that I didn't like about the game. The way that they got up too quickly, especially on online matches, triple threat matches on online were just way too hard. You would hit someone with a finisher and, like, seven seconds later they get... They would get right back up, and you know you'd never be able to escape the steel cage. It was, it was just terrible to be doing triple threat matches and fatal four ways. <sighs> Imagine Armageddon Hell in a Cell. That that was just insane for me. I could never freaking do that because one guy would always be up too quickly, and you know it'd be hard to get those pins. Um, biggest thing that I didn't really like about the game was probably, yeah, this, this, this and Road to WrestleMania, and I might as well say it right now, I am not reviewing Road to WrestleMania because I got intel from THQ, straight from THQ's office, saying that it was not supposed to be called Re Road to WrestleMania, it was supposed to be called Road to Free Brawls, because that freaking mode, there I go, saying freaking, that mode just had a bunch of freak... Oh my god, I just said I just said it again. I'm being like trolled by my own mind, but it just had so many free brawls. It was insane. Free, free brawls was the most annoying thing to mankind in Road to WrestleMania. I mean, it was like the game, the mode basically lost its feel once it had the third free brawl. The free brawl. I mean, the hero storyline was... A free brawl the first match and you know I was just like I, I don't like this at all especially with once they got you you can never reverse it was impossible to reverse their moves once they got you down 
it was just a miracle when you actually got it. And, you know, I never completed Road to WrestleMania because I just hated free brawls. Now, let's move on to online creations. Wow. If you guys remember my video the first day, I made a video where, like, this whole thing, like, the servers were always down. But all of a sudden, now that WWE 13 is right around the corner, free, I mean, not free brawls, community creations just works entirely great. And if servers are, like, what they are showing right now on the screen, I would love WWE 13 because the servers were shit most of the time for WWE 13. If you guys are in the WWE 13 or WWE Games community, you guys would know what I'm talking about. Everybody complained about community creations. Everyone. Now, all of a sudden, they work, and I applaud THQ, but it's way too late. You know that song by Three Days Grace, Never Too Late? We'll throw that off the freaking mountain because it's too late to fix the servers. WWE 13 comes out tomorrow, and, you know, WWE 12 is just, just gone. But again, I applaud THQ for finally fixing their shit and doing something with the servers. Hopefully the servers are like this in WWE 13 because if they are, I will love them completely. Because this same shit happened in SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 and in SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. Um, but, you know, I'm happy that they work now. But again, it's too late. Let's see how they work in WWE 13. Let's see how great they are tomorrow. What I'm going to do with freaking WWE 12, there I said freaking again. I'm sorry, guys, but that is just my go-to word. My go-to word. What I'm going to do with WWE 12 is I'm probably going to sell it for in-store game credit and SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 for credit at GameStop because I'm a little low on money with WWE 13, so don't be surprised if you don't see me um, freaking... If you don't see me uh, upload on the day it's launched, which is tomorrow, I'm sorry. But I'm a little low on money, to be quite honest with you guys. So, I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to buy it on release day. A little bad balancing with money. I should have kept my money. But, you know, with me, I gotta waste my money once I have money. Because if I don't waste it, then I'm an idiot. But, again, I applaud THQ. Great thing you got your servers back together. Now let's move on to Universe Mode. Universe Mode was basically the only good thing that was in WWE 12. But, you know, with it, it's just... It, it, I don't even know what to say. Um, so, you had your little show. You got to edit shit. You got to, you know, had all these freaking logos. Again, freaking is my go-to word, so don't freaking say anything about it because I would freaking get mad because I freaking hate it when people say shit about me just kidding guys I'm just trolling you right now but um you had great arenas you had created an arena you could freaking do anything with your show except you know you couldn't move it around any day you wanted I wanted to do a TNA show on Thursday but I had to replace it with the Smackdown brand because I couldn't do it that was the one thing I didn't like about universe mode you couldn't place the show when you wanted to there was too little custom little brands for matchup screens but overall universe mode was great it was your usual as smackdown versus 2011 but in, in this one there was no inferno matches on the pay-per-view oh my god when when that happened i was so glad because wwe smackdown versus raw 2011 the universe mode pay-per-view was always inferno matches and it just made me want to kill the game and you could offend your title anytime you wanted you could place championship cards whenever you wanted it didn't matter you could do whatever you wanted except you know I couldn't do a whole call thing with uh, the game so you know I want to do a TNA universe like I wanted to if you guys have watched me for this long but it didn't let me because I needed 15 guys on the roster I had 15 guys on the roster yet it didn't let me create the show but the other thing I didn't like about Universe Mode was that you couldn't edit the Superstar threads if you just push the match to play now. You actually had to choose um, Customize Freely, and then you had to choose your threads, which kind of was stupid. But, you know, Universe Mode was basically the same as SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, just a little more cutscenes, and, you know... Going into WWE 12, I was really excited for Universe Mode, but it ended up being not that great of a mode. Hopefully in WWE 13, I am forever changed. But you basically had your 
your same things. You did matches, you sometimes got a cutscene. The only thing I didn't like about it is that sometimes they would create tag teams, but the tag teams would just disappear off right away. I didn't. I don't like how they haven't incorporated a feature when you could choose when tag teams are, you know, disbanded. Because sometimes when you make a tag team and they break up, you have to remake it. And, you know, you have to go through that long process again, putting your tag team finishers, your tag team entrance, your tag team names. And, you know, it just basically got rid of a lot of time that could have been spent on other things. But... Alright, what do I rate this game out of 10? What do I rate it out of 10? Community Creations was shit. Predator Technology was sometimes shit. But you know what? I'm going to be kind and give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Because it was fun while it lasted, but it didn't have that replay, bleh, that replay value that I wanted. I like that the game had a little hack thingy where you could put real pictures of wrestlers for you know your car or whatever I like that and how teach if you never try to patch or do something about it and I'm also being nice because THQ actually fixed their servers even though it was too late and you know hopefully THQ and Smackdown I mean not Smackdown which is Raw WWE 13 learns that you don't need to get up too quickly because when they got up too quickly it just annoyed the basic it just basically annoyed the living shit out of me when they got up too quickly. But, you know, I loved how they made Legend a challenge in this game. Exactly like how I wanted it. So I give it a 7.7 7 out of 10. And that's my kind, you know, thing. I mean, I should be giving this game maybe... Maybe some of you probably think that I'm low... In, that I'm rating it too low. But that's quite honestly my opinion because... The game really pissed me off a lot, to be quite honest with you guys. And the game would sometimes freeze on me on Story Designer, which is another thing why I'm giving it, you know, maybe a little low rating in your head. But that is basically it, guys. My final WWE 12 video, WWE 13, hopefully I can get it tomorrow. Let's hope so, and you know, I'll be seeing you guys on the flip side on WWE 13. What the hell did I just say? The flip side? What the hell is the flip side? I have no idea. Rocker X out, guys, and I hope you guys have a great day.